Okay guys, it's Mr. Dorsey. In preparation for our test on Friday, I am going to go through last night's homework, which was due today, which is Wednesday the 24th of April. And then I'm going to go through tonight's homework, which is due tomorrow, which will be Thursday the 25th of April. So this was due, this was due today, 4-24-24. That's a 4, by the way. It says, translate the following statements in questions 1 through 4, that's these four, to an inequality expression. Inequality expression is like an equation except it has an inequality sign in the middle. Twice the sum of x and 3 is less than 5. That's a lot to break down. Twice the sum. What does it mean to be twice anything? That's two times? Two times anything. Sum, I know that word sum, is addition. So the adding x and 3. So twice x plus 3. And I have to put parentheses around it because it's twice the entire sum x and 3, which is a parenthesis thing. Then it says less than 5, less than 5. Simple as that. Okay, now let's go on. Two-thirds of z. The word of is a multiplier. Two-thirds, well, 2 over 3, multiplied by z plus 6 multiplied by z plus 6. Hmm. I think it means this, I'm pretty sure. z plus 6 is greater than 5. By the way, none of these, you don't have to solve these, you're just writing them. This says 1 fourth multiplied by, I like that because the word multiply, you don't even have to think about it. 1 fourth multiplied by the sum of t and 9. Well, t plus 9 is at most 9, nine right? That's where the, it ends. Is at most 9. Can it be over 9? No, it can't be. Can it be equal to 9? Yes, it can. So I'm going to start with the equals 2 sign. And it can be less than, right? So I'm going to do that just so you know that it's less than or equal to. And then I'm going to correct that so I can make it into the actual sign. Less than or equal to 9. That's what that is. Sorry for the background noise. If you can hear it, it's bus dismissal. And I am doing this in my classroom during bus dismissal. All right. 4. Half of. Again, the word of means multiplied. Half. 1 half of 7 added to the product of h. Well, 7 added to the product of h and 4. That's h times 4. And I always write the 4 before it. So 7 plus the product of 4 and h, or h and 4, 1 half times that, is at least 1. At least. At least. That means it could be equal to 1, and it could be greater than 1. It can't be less than 1, because it's at least 1. Could be 2, could be 3, can't be 0. That's it. Okay? That's the first four. I'm going to just keep going because it's going to take me a while. Five. The quotient, that's a division problem, right? Quotient, keyword there, quotient, of a number and five. A number, gee, a number is probably a variable. So we're going to say x divided by five is no greater than 450. Why well, over here I know I have 450. Greater than 450 would be easy, but it's not greater than 450, so it's got to be less than. Could it equal 450? Yeah, it says no greater than. It doesn't say anything about not being equal to. So that's my sign. Okay? And then it says, what are the possible values for the number? Well, I wrote the inequality here, and then I have to solve it. Sorry for the lack of space here, but when I solve it, I'm currently dividing by 5, so I have to multiply both sides by 5. And when I do that, the 5's cancel. I get x is less than or equal to 5 times 450. You're going to have to do the math yourself. But I take 5 times 400, and I get 2,000. And 5 times 50, and I get 250. So it's 2,250. And then 6, the yellow taxi cab company, that's what CO dot means, charges a $2.75 flat rate. That means no matter what, no matter how far I go, I pay $275 if I get in the cab and they start to move at all. They charge me $275. 
and then 65 cents for each additional mile. So that's a per mile fee. So if I go 10 miles, it's $6.50. That means it's a multiplier. So I'm literally, it says Emma has no more than $14. That seems like a limiting thing. So no more than, no more than 14. I'm gonna start with that. And then I'm gonna see, well, 275, the flat fee, I have to pay that no matter what. So I'm gonna add that on the end. And then I'm gonna take the 0.65 times what? Well, 0.65 times miles. So that will help me out. How many miles can Emma ride without exceeding her spending limit? In other words, she can't spend more than 14. That's why it's less than or equal to. And then this, I have to undo PEMDAS in reverse. And I undo that this way. And when I, when I subtract 2.75, if you need to see this like this, then do it that way. Then you got to regroup. You get 10, but it goes to 9, and this becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 11.25. So over here I get 0.65M. Less than or equal to. Now, I don't flip the sign unless I multiply or divide by a negative, which I did not do, and I'm still not going to do it. But I'm currently multiplying 0.65 times M, so I have to divide both sides by 0.65. And when I do that, 11.25, I'm going to circle this just so you can see that I, it's what I'm dividing, 0 0.65. Now, when I do that, if you guys are uh, doing your long division, I'm not going to give you one quite like this on the test, but you should be able to do this. You should be able to write out the problem, and you're going to get kind of a, a bogus number and I, this is why I don't do this to you because I think that you're going to get a number that's going to go on for a while. I would just go with 17.3 17.3 it's miles a tenth of a mile is close enough so M is less than or equal to 17.3 miles right that means the furthest she can go is 17.3 miles okay now Keith has $500, oops, let's go with the rest of page one. Keith has $500 in a savings account at the beginning of the summer. He wants to have at least $200 at the end of the summer. He's going to spend money all summer. He withdraws $25 per week for food, clothing, and movie tickets. Wow, he lives pretty cheaply. How many weeks can Keith withdraw money from his account? Okay, so let's see. He starts with $500. And he wants to wind up with no less than 200, at least 200. So I went greater than or equal to 200. 200 is fine. 199 is not. 201 is fine. Now, let's see. He subtracts 25 per week. So $25 times the number of weeks. Now, literally, this is like a negative 25W plus 500. Remember, if I had 500 plus 25W, I can just flip, flip them around. Because it's 500 minus 25W, I can flip these around, or I could call this keep change change. So it's 500 plus, let's do it that way, plus negative 25W. And then I see, oh, I want to subtract 500 from both sides. And when I do that, I get negative 25W is less than or greater than or equal to negative 300. Now, what do I do to get rid of that? By the way, this last part, 8, is I started right on the next side, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. But ignore it for now. Now I divide both sides by a negative 25. When I do that, I get W. And now when I divide by a negative number on both sides, I have to flip the sign. So W is less than or equal to. And 300 divided by 25. Well, if you know money at all, 300 pennies is $3 divided by quarters would give me 12 quarters or 12 weeks in this case. So weeks is less than or equal to 12. The most, how many weeks can Keith withdraw money from his account? 12 or less. That's it. Not more. Okay, let's look at number 8. Let's finish this off. 8 was kind of a trick question. It was not intended to be. When I went to copy this, I printed this out. And the, remember the other side, I said there's part of 8 on there. So I wrote the part that I could read. 
You want to rent a limousine to go to Boston. That was kind of what it said. You have 750 to spend, write an inequality that represents the scenario. We have no idea what the limo cost or the mileage fee or any of that, so there's no way to do this problem. No way to do. Why not? Not enough information. Not enough. Okay? Now, let's look at number nine. The length of a rectangle is four centimeters longer than the width. That's length, that's width, right? So, if I just use W for width. Well, it says the perimeter. Remember, perimeter is all the way around. And if you remember, perimeter is this plus this plus this plus this. Or it's two times the length plus two times the width. I'm going to do that. Perimeter equals two times width plus two times the length. I'm just going to stick the numbers in. Perimeter. Well, the perimeter is no more than 28. I'm going to put it actually this way. Equals perimeter. When I say no more than 28, that means at most 28. So in other words, less than or equal to 28. Well, it's two times the width. Well, it's still two times W. Plus, what's two times the length? We don't know the length, but we do know the length is length plus length width plus four. Because it says the length is four centimeters longer. So W plus four, W plus four. So I have two W plus two times W plus four. And when I do that, I can simplify this, right? I want to multiply this out and then combine like terms. So 2w plus 2 times w plus 4 is 2w plus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 8. So that's going to equal to 28. Now I can combine the like terms. 2w plus 2w is 4w plus 8. So that's going to equal to 28. Now I undo PEMDAS in reverse. Undo the addition before the multiplication. Subtract 8. Subtract 8. And I get... 4w is less than or equal to 20. Then I'm currently multiplying by 4, so the undo is to divide by 4. And I get w is less than or equal to 5. What's that mean? The width can be at most 5, and the length width at most 5, and the length is at most 5 plus 4 is 9. All right. Lastly, Number 10. Sarah goes to Fredonia University. She has $900 in her savings account. She needs to buy a small laptop computer before next semester. The laptop costs $600. Every two weeks, she withdraws $60 from her savings account for food. How many times can Sarah withdraw money for the food in order to still have money for the computer? So she starts with $900. And she needs to have at least 600 left to buy the computer. So whatever I do to the 900, I need to have 600 left. And then she withdraws every two weeks. She withdraws $60. So hmm, 60 times 2W. Why 2W? Because it says every two weeks. So what am I doing here? I'm subtracting that. Why? Because I'm spending that. So she starts with 900, and then every week, she's or every two weeks, she's taken out every, uh, is that right? Hold on. Let me get this right. Let me just make sure I'm thinking right. I haven't thought about this very long. Give me a moment to think. Okay. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to call, uh, how much is she withdrawing a week? Let's just go with that. She's taking 30 bucks out a week, right? 30. Why? Because it's 60 every two weeks. So 30 W. Now. If I'm, this is the same thing. Again, I can't do this without keep change change. So 900 plus negative 30W. It's less than or equal to 600. And then I 
I'm adding 900. I'm going to subtract 900 from both sides. I get negative uh, 30 times weeks uh, is less than or equal to 600 minus 900 is negative 300. I like the way it's looking so far. Divide both sides by a negative 30. Here's that trick again. I'm dividing by a negative number on both sides, which means this is going to flip. So this goes away and I get W. This flips. And uh, this is a negative 30. So negative 300 divided by negative 30 is a positive 10. So weeks. Hmm. Weeks is greater than or equal to 10. That doesn't make sense. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Okay, so 10 weeks, but she does it every two. She can look through five times, but it's not a good looking five. So five times. All right. Oops, sorry. There we go. All right, that's it. And I'll move on to homework number two, the classwork you did today.